Hi, I'm Lifehacker staff writer Nick Douglas, and I'm using teleprompt.me, the teleprompter that you control with your voice. If you've watched other Lifehacker videos shot in our studio, you've probably seen me or one of my colleagues reading off a teleprompter. Instead of memorizing a script, we just display it on a monitor, and our video producer manually scrolls through it as the presenter talks. It works great, but it requires a person to sit there, moving the teleprompter along. So if you're trying to make videos on your own or with someone holding the camera, that's not enough. What you're seeing right now is a solution called teleprompt.me. It's a free web app that listens to you as you read your script and advances the words right in time with you. And my script says to tell you that it's going great, so let's hope that's actually true right now. In our studio, we use a fancy hardware setup with a mirror, so I can stare directly into the camera while reading words off of a reflected screen. It makes me feel very professional. But you can also just place a laptop next to your camera and get a close approximation, or, like I'm doing here, record right into your computer's webcam. The only problem is, I've noticed, is when the computer can't tell you've said all the words it's displaying and it stops moving forward. It's not a huge problem, actually. You just need to go back and say a few words from further up, and that kicks the prompter back into action. From further up, and that kicks the prompter back into action. It feels like it has a bit of a grace period, so it can miss a word from you now and then, or you can just skip a word, like I'm doing right now, and the prompter will follow along with you anyway. A couple of things do trip up the prompter. If you talk too fast, it'll lose track and you'll have to go back. And if you run into a lot of non-dictionary words that the prompter doesn't recognize and you don't immediately slow down, it'll lose track and you'll have to go back. So let's test it by reading the last names of some Lifehacker staff members like Kirsch, Adamchik, Skorecki, Khan, Zafar, Haas, Smith, Walbert. Did we make it through all that? I hope so. Walbert. Did we make it through all that? I hope so. Because the app tends to recover so well, it's still super useful for shooting videos, as long as you can cut now and then, or rehearse a few times and edit any parts of the script that are tripping up the prompter. You just can't use it live, or any situation where it'd be awkward to keep repeating yourself. Sheboygan. I'm still using Teleprompt Me to tell you to like this video and subscribe to Lifehacker.